committing to anything can be quite scary. It doesn't necessarily have to be a trick. It could be like a job, uh, a school, a uh, relationship. That sounds bad. No, I'll cut that out. <laughs> There's two here, but we'll just... What are you addicted to? Why? I feel like I'm addicted to learning new stuff. Like, if and if I'm not, like, training, I'll try to learn something new, like playing piano or guitar. Just anything that keeps me busy. Like, if I'm doing nothing, then it's kind of... That's hard for me. I'll just go like... Bleh, and get, like, panic attacked. So, just learning new stuff, I think, is what I'm addicted to. What makes you different? Nothing really. <laughs> I feel like uh, we're all different and all the same. Um, yeah, I do like scheduling things. I, my my mom is a teacher, so I've grown up with quite like like a schedule and not necessarily like very strict because uh, I've gotten to do what I want to do. Uh, it's more like um, I like planning stuff. It makes me feel like everything's in control. Um, I don't know if that makes me different, but that's like a thing that I that is unique for me, I guess. I'm going deep on this one. Oh. What's the scariest thing you've ever done and why? Fuck. Ah. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of things that scare me. I think that's the cool thing about parkour is you, you always try to, to do things that are scary. Or I try to like at least scare, like, Come, overcome my fear over and over. So something that might have been the scariest thing two years ago is not anymore. Like c committing to anything can be quite scary. It doesn't necessarily have to be a trick. It could be like a job, uh, a school, uh, relationship. That sounds bad. No, I'll cut that out. <laughs> I can't, like, my girlfriend's gonna watch this and sound so. be like, what? Um, no, but like committing to anything can be quite scary, uh, whether that's a job or, or school or, or anything is like it's quite scary to commit to something but i think parkour has taught me that as long as you commit to something and you just go 100 percent, then it'll be fine um yeah i feel like you can take that from parkour into real life if like if you're going to go to this school then if you're going to commit to it then do it 100 percent. like if you're going to try this concrete don't give it 70 percent and then fail like give it all 100 percent, or else you're going to fail so that doesn't really answer the question what's the scariest thing I've done, but I f think that is scary. Committing is scary, but it's very nice to do it. What do you dislike about yourself? Why? So much. Nah, actually not. Um, I, I used to be quite self-conscious, but um, parkour has helped me a lot with that. I'm quite... Like, even though I like organizing things, I'm pretty good at organizing. I am very messy sometimes and I can just completely get caught up in one thing and forget about one another thing I was supposed to do. Like I'll make dinner, eat dinner, and then instead of going to do the wash-ups, I'll go and play piano and then I completely forget about the wash-ups and I'll come back and be really like disappointed at myself. Like just small stuff like I'm very forgetful about, um, which is really annoying. So I guess that's one thing I dislike about myself. Five. Do you think you have balance in your life? Uh, yeah, I think there's always things I want to improve in my life and I feel like I strive to have some kind of balance. Like I can't train every day and I try to do physio every now and then. So it's like physio, training, physio, training, training, physio. It's quite even. That's like, I feel like that I've gotten good at balancing. Um, work life is a bit weird because I'm work as a substitute teacher. So, uh, sometimes I'll work two weeks with no break and then I'll work, not work for three weeks and then suddenly I work five weeks. So it's like a bit all over the place. Uh, I guess that's something I can't really control, but I feel like I have a good balance in my life right now. Yes. Uh, favorite training shoes and why? All right, wait, can I go and get these? Yeah. Yeah, wait. 
All right, so my favorite training shoes are the Farang, uh, Farang shoes. I don't know if this is the second model they made, but they are really nice. The it has a whole shoe. Uh, wait, what do you call this? A whole grip sole. Yeah, a whole grip sole, and it makes it really nice for training and grip. I always break them right at the toes, which is a problem. Uh, I've gone through probably four or five of these and they don't make them anymore so I'm very sad when these break and they're very close to breaking. Um, but yeah, they're just great. They're very thin, they're very uh, light and really good for training, has really good grip uh, and they're quite comfortable on my foot. I feel like this is the optimal shoe for me. Uh, right, number seven I think. What's your worst injury and the story behind it? Uh, I, hit, I, I hit my head. I kind of scalped myself. Uh, I did a castaway from um, a block that I put on a trampoline and no one was holding the block. So instead of me pushing away from the block, the block flew away. So I just kept in the same place and hit the wooden edge that was under the block, resulting in having a scar from about here on my head all the way here. Um, you can't see it even under the hair because it's a uh, very straight and uh, small, thin uh, scar. But it's I had to uh, go to the hospital and get that sewn. I think I got 21 stitches. Uh, but I was back training in a week because I didn't have any concussion, no like cr like um, skull crush, nothing like that. It was just my uh, basically the skin of my head was ripped open, which sounds terrible, but it was quite fine, just scary. I think right now what I've been dealing with most is my knee injury. Um, basically overstraining it because one of my ankles was bad and uh, instead of my ankle taking a lot of pressure from my drops, it would be my knee taking all the impact. Uh, so I've had to do a lot of physio for that and work myself back from like 20% strength to 100, uh, which I am at right now and I'm very happy about and I'll probably keep doing physio because um, it makes me feel very like confident in my body and how much impact it can take compared to yes, uh, how it used to be. I like these questions, they're good. What do you regret and why? Nothing. I don't regret anything. That sounds really like no regrets, but like, I, I feel like you shouldn't regret anything you'd, you're done or you've done because I'm very happy of where I am. Uh, and I'm sure there's a million different places I could have been, but I'm very happy where I am and there's no time to think about where I could have been or where I should be. It's just, I am here and I try to be present and that's it. Like I, the, the, you shouldn't have any regrets about anything because you are where you are. You can't do anything about it. Just move where you are and go to where you want to be, but you can't really take anything back. So why regret anything? All right, number nine. This is really small. Favorite thing about yourself, why? Um, I'm quite confident in my skill in learning things. So I feel like I'm a quick learner and I'm really proud of that. Like if I try to pick up something new, uh, I think I can, I have a nice strategy in my head on how to learn it, uh, which I'm really happy about. Like it's something that I'm proud of. Okay, what's your uh, ideal day? Hmm, that's the hardest one I've had. Um, ideally, I would wake up by myself at a nice time, like maybe eight or nine, but it's rare that I do. But let's say, ideal day, I'll wake up at like nine by myself, no alarm for just waking up because your body tells you to wake up and then go and have breakfast, you know, just like the normal stuff, taking it easy, talk to my girlfriend, then go and train, maybe do some work for a keeper, design work, and then go to train for a couple of hours with my friends, have some food, a lot of food, go back to the place, make some more food, dinner, eat dinner, and then just like relax, take it easy, maybe play some piano, guitar, talk to my girlfriend, and then go to bed. Yeah, that's an ideal day just having fun. But sometimes you do have to get work done because otherwise, what are we doing? 10 questions, done. Well done.